Was it Mario Cuomo who was the one who said you campaign yes. in poetry, but you govern in prose? I thought that this week. I saw what I thought was the funniest story I've seen in a long time about the Taliban being upset about having to govern now. And it's true, you know, it's, it's a lot of fun to be the revolutionary. You know, it's a lot of... Jihad is fun. It just is. <laughs> but then you win. They won. And now they have to, like, govern this country. So Vice News, which I used to be a part of, uh, they did this whole story on... They interviewed a lot of these Taliban commanders who are now living in the capital, Kabul, and they don't like it. Uh, one of them said, I miss the jihad life. <laughs> for all the good things it had. I love this. Husafa, a former sniper, <laughs> said life was simple and free during jihad. The Taliban used to be free of restrictions, but now we sit in one place behind a desk. Don't you hate that when you... Uh, Mansu, great guy, um, complained about the... <laughs> He's had up to here with the traffic. I am not making this up. He said last year it was tolerable, but now it's become more congested. We had a great degree of freedom. These days, you have to go to the office before 8 a.m. and stay there till 4. <laughs> uh, Kamran said, We are tested by cars, positions, wealth, and women. Many of our Mohajuddin have fallen into these seemingly sweet but actually bitter traps. Oh, yeah. Connie from accounting, she's uh, showing a little ankle around the office. And this... <laughs> anyway... The, I thought the complaints of the Taliban... So we looked into it a little further. There are some other complaints the Taliban have about working at the office. Would you like to hear some of their... Oh, I, I thought you might. Um, for example, uh, I keep getting my beard stuck in the copier. Is an, is a, uh, I can't find wingtips that go, go with my suicide vest. Uh, the snack machine is always out of opium. That's... <laughs> Uh, I'm getting carpal tunnel in my beheading hand. Yeah, that's... <laughs> I tell co-workers I used to blow up statues of Buddha, and they say, OK, boomer. <laughs> uh, I'm used to working from cave. <laughs> I was due for a promotion, and who do they give it to? The warlord's son. <laughs> Uh, no women are allowed to work here, but HR still makes us sit through a sexual harassment <laughs> seminar. <laughs> and, of course, you try running accounts payable without Jews. <laughs>